Hey there folks, Josh here with Hardig's Exotic Reptile Emporium bringing to you my first build ever filmed in its entirety. I plan to continue to provide content similar to this in the future. So if you find yourself enjoying Let You See, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. Please bear with me as I hone in on my videography skills. I hope you enjoy. Start off with a 10 gallon tank. I didn't use a drainage layer for this one. I didn't feel I needed to for the build. Added in some substrate, charcoal and some sphagnum moss. A little bit of leaf litter to fluff it all up real good and get it all smoothed out. Get it all prepared for some hardscaping. I think for this build I wanna do kind of like a little hidden hide den. We'll see how it comes along. Just a bit of cotton and some super glue at the joints and it creates a really strong bond, an instant strong bond, makes for Escaping very easy. Later on, if any of the cotton is still exposed and unsightly, you can just cover it up with some more super glue and a little bit of dirt or some other substrate. I think I envision this for some kind of colubrid, maybe a corn snake. After getting a solid foundation going, a little mesh on top will help keep the substrate from falling through. Patch up a few of those unsightly cotton pieces. Brush all the loose substrate off and give a final scape to the substrate. Now we're going to do some rockscaping, add some further detail to the whole build. Maybe it'll kind of look like this rotten wood's embedded into the stone. Again, apply more cotton and more super glue making sure everything's nice and secure.
rockscape the other side as well to finish the look. Now for this step I took some of my substrate and some aquatic substrate and blended them together real good with some sphagnum moss and added water to make it more malleable to work with. So long as it stays moist it should all stay in there really well. But I'll wedge some moss pieces in later to assure it stays in its position. And there you have it folks, the hardscape's all complete. Now remember the whole main part there in the middle is all hollowed out, nice den for a snake to get into. Give it one little good spray down. And now it's time for the plants. Got a little bit of selection for this tank today. Over here in the corner, we'll be putting a sword fern in. Right here in the middle will be a golden porthos. Then you have a Chinese money plant, also known as a pancake plant. Next is a burgundy glow bugle weed. Add in some clippings of wandering Jew up here at the top. Some are already rooted. Oh yeah, moss time. My favorite time in the build. It's what really brings a terrarium, vivarium, bioactive setup to life is moss. Several responsibly harvested species added to this build, such as pincushion moss, star moss, delicate fern moss, hypno moss, broom moss, spiky moss, and I'm sure some other bits I just didn't ID properly. Finishing up with the last bits of moss, I'm gonna add some sphagnum moss to the substrate and some leaf litter just to kind of give it a little more natural look. Got oak leaf litter and magnolia leaves. Got a few botanicals to add in, a little lotus pod, got a magnolia seed pod, and some alder cones. Go ahead and give everything a really good spray down. Added in a few more matching stones in the foreground to 
to add a cohesive look to the whole build. There you have it folks, my first build on film from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did building it. Please again, hit that subscribe button so I can continue to bring more content like this for you.